It's low and slow as a camera person for San Diego's KUSI TV was doused by fire retardant as this big firefighting DC-10 fought the Cocos fire in San Marcos. Fire crews, by the way, do report progress in efforts to contain a series of wildfires across San Diego County. Calmer winds and cooler temps have aided firefighters today, but that weather hasn't helped residents so much in San Marcos, where at least five homes have been destroyed. Right now, there are at least five major active fires still burning. Affected areas include Camp Pendleton, Bonsall, Carlsbad, San Marcos, and Rancho Bernardo. And flames have destroyed more than 14,000 acres around Camp Pendleton Marine Base. And today, the fire came within yards of a housing complex there. More than 20 helicopters are battling the wildfires. Two Marine Corps super stallions are part of the aerial fleet. And CBS correspondent Carter Evans was aboard one of them. Every time we fly over the fire, the smoke, you can smell it, you can feel the heat radiating upwards from the planes below. You're looking straight below through the belly of the aircraft. This is called the hell hole for obvious reasons. This guy right here is the crew chief. He is spotting the fire. He's looking to see where we're going to drop this. He's also the one who's going to press the button to release the water on the fire below. And we're told each aerial drop is about 900 gallons of water. Crews made 200 drops yesterday. There are health alerts, a smoke warning in our area tonight because of drifting smoke from the San Diego fires. Hey, come on, Stacey Butler has more on that live in San Clemente tonight. Stacey. Susie and Kent, as firefighters get a handle on the San Diego fires, finally out here temperatures are dropping, but only after a thick smoke filled Orange County, keeping some inside and sending others to the hospital. As the sun set over San Clemente, Rick Powell finally ventured out with his wife and granddaughter after waiting all day for the smoke to clear. Today was pretty thick. Yeah, it was smoky. The smoke from the San Diego fires that blew into Orange County was so heavy, Pat Owens, who suffers from emphysema, didn't step outside of her Huntington Beach home until after 5 o'clock tonight. I could smell the smoke. It takes my breath away if I go out in it, so I try not to go out in it. Take a look at this time-lapse video of the sun rising over the Southland today. Along with it, haze. In Orange County, the smoke was so thick, a spokesman for the Orange County Fire Authority says by the end of the day, the agency received a thousand calls reporting the smell of smoke. That's causing a lot of irritation of the lungs, irritation of the eyes. Emergency room doctor Jim Keeney at Mission Hospital says he saw a spike in patients with respiratory-related illness today. Especially the people, though, with asthma and emphysema, COPD, those kind of pre-existing conditions, then they're really being affected by the smoke. By mid-afternoon, the brown haze could be seen over downtown Los Angeles and all the way to the Inland Empire. In smoke like this, Dr. Keeney warns those who know they're susceptible to it to stay inside before they even smell it. If you have medications you use when you get you know, symptoms that your doctors have told you to use, start using those early. Don't wait until it's too late. And that was KKLI's Orange County.